Let's be real, we watch Banshee for Anthony Starr, but stayed for the tits and ass, an occasional dick. I do have a serious problem. In all seriousness, with those spoilers, Banshee is a masterful watch from beginning to end, due to four things. The complex characters, spectacular performances, personal nature of the show, and such creative editing. First things first, the complex characters are the main reason why to stay with this show, and any show really, which each character makes us feel something, with not one dull character in the main cast. Even some of the scummiest characters still make you feel something and they're effective. Standout characters for me are Lucas Hood, Siobhan Kelly, Emmett Yonners, Kai Proctor, Kurt Bunker, Joe, Brock Lotus, and the list goes on and on. Because the dynamic people of this crazy world of Banshee are the main reason why to stay with the show. Honestly, making the town of Banshee a character of its own based on how Banshee affected all of these characters even before our nameless main character comes into frame. There's history here in Banshee, so it's fun to unravel it with our main guy. Which, speaking about our main guy, Anthony stars Lucas Hood, who is always questioned about who he is. Because throughout the show, we never actually learn his actual name. So the fact that there's so much to tell about this character without knowing his actual name is evident of great writing. He's a character defined by his actions not his labels. He couldn't care less about his real name because his given name it doesn't define him. Same thing as his label as a thief because he's more than just a thief. But back to his name, his given name is just a representation of his past and the name Lucas Hood is only just a mask to who he actually is. And there is a time when he gives up the name Lucas Hood being a representation of moving on with no mask to hide who he truly is anymore. Which is honestly relatable because we all have masks that hide behind to seem more tolerable to other people. But the instance we don't give a fuck about what other people think anymore is when we shed that mask and unveil who we truly are. Another notable character is Tristy Kelly Dunn's Siobhan Kelly. And we'll admit, she can step on me any day because I am so damn bad for her, seriously. But despite these simp tinted glasses, Siobhan Kelly is a great character. She's a badass while having her own flaws and trauma, especially with her abusive husband. Despite her abuse from the person who's supposed to make her feel safe, she rises past that and helps other people using her job on the force. She honestly proves that while the abuse and trials in her life were a part of her, it didn't define her as it shouldn't for anyone else because life doesn't stop moving for any of us. So why should we? And I adored her dynamic with Lucas Hood, making them a solid couple. I like that little tad bit of romance there. So knowing the wholesome show that Banshee is, totally nothing horrifying is gonna happen to them. Totally. Next, the masterful performances in Banshee make the show worthwhile. What if I told you that Anthony Starr's best performance isn't the iconic Homelander from The Boys, but Lucas Hood? Anthony Starr eats up every scene and every punch in all of these fight scenes. This performance as Lucas Hood is more impressive than Homelander's because of how physical he needs to be in nearly every scene. In a fight scene, he's an animal exuding such savage intensity with every punch, growl, and arm snap. You could feel that same animalistic energy with every performer in this show, which props to the actors, stunt coordinators, and fight choreographers for that. And you know Lucas Hood be getting physical with the baddies too. Anthony Starr was on a mission, literally banging all the main female cast. I'm dead serious, this guy is a chick magnet. 50 seconds into the show, his face is already in a mountain full of titties. What the fuck? And even when Anthony wasn't doing any of that, Anthony still had a scene physically imposing in every room he's in. So yeah, Anthony Starr is the most notable performance in this show but it doesn't take away from anyone else's performance. In fact, they all nearly match him in this show, with most of the cast being really capable of getting physical in more ways than one. Then the visceral nature of Banshee is masterful, especially with the visceral action and violence of the show being an absolute highlight. But there are other visceral aspects to this show, like the visceral shit that some of these characters go through torture, abuse, racism, rape, and literal Nazis. And it's absolute insanity that one of the best characters in the show was a former neo-Nazi. But the thing about the show is that it's not visceral for the sake of being visceral. There is purpose to it, and it really adds to these disturbing topics. And it makes them feel far more brutal, but truthful. And Banshee isn't trying to preach at you about these topics, about these bad people, but showing you. You shouldn't do that. Just don't be mean. Seriously. Give a little kindness to each other. This show is more about showing than telling, which I absolutely admire. Finally, Banshee's most creative asset that makes it a masterful watch is 
it's editing. I love editing myself. So to see a show as creatively edited as this is truly inspiring. Props to Banshee's editor, Chris A. Peterson, for this spectacular editing. Because editing plays a big role in style and visual storytelling, which this show excels at, especially in the later seasons, where they hone in their craft. At times, it displays the mindset of some of these characters, especially with their use of cuts, either cutting forward or backwards in time. It's so beautiful, especially with how they creatively weave in flashbacks, showing the memory of some of these characters it's just so beautiful i'm blushing and kicking my feet thinking about it right now and i should have said this earlier but disclaimer if you can't handle crazy raw violence or crazy raw fucking banshee won't be for you don't try forcing yourself to watch a show that wasn't made for you but if you can handle it banshee will be a masterful watch from start to finish because of complex characters awesome performances visceral nature and creative editing. And for a show about ex-convicts, it's truly a show about learning about our past and learning from our past. Truly taking advantage and appreciating our second chances. Because we don't deserve these second chances that life gives us, truly. Yet we were given it anyway. That's the beauty of today. And that'll be the beauty of tomorrow. And my guy, Sugar Bait, said it best. The past has kept you locked up long enough. Today, today there is only one question, question left to ask yourself.